gonna go ahead and run through an infrared repair. The first thing, the key to any infrared repair always starts with cleaning it up. So we need to have a broom, a blower, a shovel, and clean off all the dirt. What happens is you go to do a patch, you go to heat it up, you put the heater on the area for six, seven, 10 minutes, whatever amount of time it takes. When you remove that heater, that KM440, you're looking at it trying to work it, and it's not gonna be workable because if you leave dirt, it reflects the lights, it, it, it insulates the patch with sand and dust. We deal with that a lot here in Florida, so you gotta make sure you start with a clean, super clean surface. Real basic, real simple. Once we've cleaned the patch, the area we're gonna patch or heat up off, we're basically just gonna roll that infrared unit over the top of the area, making sure the, the wheels, the casters are out of our patch. So if we're gonna use multiple heats, we've gotta make sure the casters aren't gonna roll through. Right now, the way they're set, we're gonna pull over the top of this uh, catch basin when we're done, rather than pull through it so we don't tear up our asphalt. Once we turn on the gas valves, in the machine lights, it's gonna heat in cycles, that way we don't burn the asphalt. Uh, you can overheat it, so it runs at 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and it runs that cycle for 10 minutes or until you turn the machine off. At, at 10 minutes, the machine will, will stop automatically, that way if you forgot that it was on and you walked away, you don't have any fire hazards, but uh, if it's not, sometimes we get in real old aggregates like we have here, we might have to heat for a little longer, so we'll just run another cycle. So you just go ahead, turn it back on, let it run for another minute or two and, and start over. Once that heat is finished, once we determine based on the sound, the smell, the sight, what we're seeing with smoke, we're able to determine that the patch is done. Um, at that point, we're gonna go ahead and move the infrared machine and start the picture framing process. This is one of the number one things you have to do from our experience. If you don't picture frame the patch correctly, it will not last. You gotta come inside four, five, six inches from the outside of your machine and create a clean line. Not only is that gonna make a hot seam, so you do have a seamless patch, it's also gonna um, give you a nice straight line. So we use the back of the rake, busting it loose, and then we flip it over to the tines once we go all the way around and we'll, we'll scarify the asphalt. So we go around the whole thing, turn the rake over and scarify it. If it's not scarifying real easy, we'll heat it up a little, little bit longer. While one guy's doing that, the other guy, because we're recycling what's there, there's nothing wrong with this asphalt, it's just old. We'll remove any real dry stuff and then bring back, since it was low, we'll bring in extra asphalt uh, to bring it level. So one guy's at the truck getting ready with the hot box, um, bringing over our mix that we picked up this morning. The old asphalt trick is, if you've been on a paving crew, you've seen it a bunch, but the guys are just dropping, dropping the, the load of asphalt off the shovel real hard. They're just kind of dropping the bottom out from it. We want to keep our asphalt in a pile so we don't over rake. The more you rake, you, you push those fines through and pull up the, the bigger aggregate, which you don't want on the top. It'll give a bad aesthetic look and potentially cause raveling. So we put a big pile there. It helps get that asphalt off the shovel, keeps it from sticking and, and just, it looks cool, man. Sometimes you gotta do it for the gram. When we're looting this infrared patch, basically it, it works the same way as a saw cut patch, other than at the seams, we typically don't leave them as high as you may in, in, a, in a saw cut patch. We typically say, okay, we're gonna leave it a quarter inch high. When we roll it, we'll get our compaction. On the infrared patch, we didn't go all the way to the base. So you're gonna get your density, but you're not gonna get uh, as much compaction out of the asphalt. So basically, we leave the edges a little different. We kind of feather them in, so we do keep the seamless, hot joint all the way around.
once we looted all that asphalt or raked it, whatever you call it, uh, we clean up around it just so we're not compacting new asphalt to areas we weren't working, try to stay tidy, it looks good for the customer, makes our finished patch look way better. And then we just roll it, so we're using a, a single drum walk behind roller. Uh, and basically we're gonna go ahead and hit the seam and, and just roll it like you would any patch. You could use a plate tamp, but we've had better luck with a, a walk behind roller. We've got a two-man crew for a reason, so when there's something to be done, we want everybody to work. So while the one guy's rolling, if we don't have infrared patches back to back on top of each other, then the other guy's cleaning up. So uh, all that loose stuff, basically he's sweeping it in a pile before we roll. And while the, the one man's on the roller, the other guy is shoveling all that up, putting it in our spoils bin. Uh, and we'll haul that back to the asphalt plant to get recycled and made into new asphalt. The, the ultimate goal, the race we have with each other is by the time he's done rolling, we should be ready to move on to either leave the job or go to the next patch. On average, we're taking about 15, 20 minutes per individual location that we patch when it's one infrared heat. If it's more heats on top of each other, if we were to be fixing this whole failed saw cut patch, this would take obviously longer, but on average, one pothole, one four by four, 140 square foot area, it's gonna take 15 to 20 minutes start to finish. And from here, we're gonna go on to the next job for the day. With this setup, we have here the KM8000 hotbox and the KM440 infrared unit. Basically, this is uh, what allows us to, to give our average day. This is what makes us a successful asphalt maintenance business, is having the ability to quickly and effectively, and most importantly, cost effectively, accomplish uh, asphalt repairs and eliminate liabilities for our customers. <laughs>